The show Three Body Problem is the latest sci-fi epic on Netflix, and it comes from the creators of Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. Anyone that has been alive for the last five years knows of the absolute disaster that the end of Game of Thrones was. Best season ever! <laughs> We're in a crypt. Nobody thought of that. He's bringing all the dead people back to life, and they put the women and children in a crypt with all the dead people. So, rah. Tyrion is smart, but I guess not that smart. Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces. I don't think there is a better example of how to take one of the most beloved TV shows of all time and completely sink it to lows nobody thought possible. When it was announced that these two got a huge Netflix deal, pretty much everybody was already convinced at how much of a disaster this show was going to be. But it's honestly pretty good and I'm really shocked to say that. I do have some nitpicks, but it was a really solid first season of a TV show. This first season is a lot of setup, and it left me generally wanting more. As well, there were quite a bit of epic moments and really solid performances by the actors and actresses. The character of Thomas Wade is my absolute favorite in the show, and the actor Liam does an amazing job at making him a complete standout. You can't help but to just love this character even when he does the most despicable of things. But moving on back to the show, how is it possible that the creators of Game of Thrones Season 8 have managed to come out on top making a pretty solid first season of a new sci-fi epic? David Benioff and D.B. Weiss have pretty much been panned as the biggest hacks in Hollywood for the last few years. But we have to remember that they were also the creators of the first few seasons of Game of Thrones, some of the best television we have ever seen. What I really believe it comes down to is that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are simply not creators. Or at least they don't have the talent or imagination to make quality original content. That being said, where I think their talent truly lies is more in the manager aspects of things. They ran an absolutely well-oiled machine when it came to the production of Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones set the standard on how to efficiently turn out high-budget sci-fi and fantasy TV shows. Then a combination of things happened. They started running out of source material, or in some cases just disregarded the source material that they still had access to. As well, they took more direct creative control and to to make things even worse, they seem to lose interest in the TV show as a whole. And as we know, it ended in absolute disaster. That leads us to the three body problem on Netflix, which is turning out to be some type of a redemption arc for these two. I do think a lot of this depends on how well they land season two. However, with the source material right at their fingertips, I don't really have a lot of doubt that they will be able to do this. My only fear is that they will start trying to put too much of their own creative of minds into the TV show. We can't forget that the original pilot of Game of Thrones was so bad that HBO demanded they make a new one. This was most likely the result of them trying to do their own thing and not just following the source material. Hopefully they just stick to what has worked for them before, which is just manage the production, which we know they are capable of, and then allow other talented people and the source material to give you the creative aspect of things. So far, the three body problem Netflix show is following all of the broad strokes of the source material, and the changes that have been made so far I do think are actually pretty good choices as far as making the source material fit better in the form of a television show. For example, they make Vera the child of Wenjia and Mike Evans, which is a change from the books and adds an extra layer of complexity to their relationships. As well, they make some of the main cast in the show a group of close college friends, which adds an additional layer of emotions to the dynamics of their relationships. These changes don't alter the overall storyline, but they just add emotional complexity. There is also multiple plot points from future books that is pulled back to better foreshadow things. For example, they bring in the concept of higher dimensions, which becomes a major storyline thread later in the books. I do think that so far, the changes they have made actually help the show more than they hurt it. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are on a redemption arc, and I have absolutely no problem with this. I would much rather have high entertainment quality than just another TV show or movie to hate watch. 
I still won't be 100% convinced of the quality of this show until season 2 comes out, but either way, those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.